Hi, this is Germans MAI. I'm going to show you how to hack the Wii, and I'm going to show you my current system of the hacked Wii without using Twilight Princess hack. First, I'm going to start up the TV. And what I have here is right when I start my Wii, it's going to show up a menu instantly. You notice that it doesn't start up normally. Pressing the power button changes the selection, and simply pressing the reset button will choose that selection. So we're going to start up the natural, old-fashioned way. This right now I'm just going to show you what I have hacked exactly. It's got the simple system 4 point, and I've got the homebrew channel running without Twilight Princess. I do not own Twilight Princess at all. And here's the homebrew channel. It's loading everything off my SD card right now. All right, some of the options I have here are already installed, but like one of these, like the SNES emulator, this one cool game for Mario War, you know, Doom, Wolfenstein, simple games like that, DVD player, Quake, you know, little games like that. These are all made possible with the Homebrew browser, which I recommend anyone download. Let's load it up right now. There's this little thing it connects to the network. Here we go. Then we got demos, emulators, games, media, and utilities. And you notice the new and everything. And I'll also show you the downloaded apps you've already have. Here are all the installed apps I currently have. And from here, you can simply delete them and update them as well. And rate. This game I love. Excellent game. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to add the files to the SD card so that you can simply install the homebrew channel, especially without the Twilight Princess. Alright, I've got my SD card here. And what you're going to see here is now that I have a ton of files here. Um, most of you will not see these files if you already used your SD card with the Wii. Um, you will, however, see this private folder. This private folder will contain all saved data and channels for the games you have. And this, I recommend right now, is changing. We'll change it to private old. We will not delete that because we will need that later on so that you can recover all your games and whatnot. Okay, now what I'm going to show you is how to add the simple program to launch the actual hack. Here it is. I have it already. You simply copy this folder, which will be included in the package that I have um, in the description. You simply just drag this here onto your continue. Simply drag it onto your SD card. Let it load. Now what you're going to do is open the Hack Me Installer Beta 3 folder and copy the boot elf the boot.elf file straight to your SD card the root of it drop drag and drop let it do its thing and you're done simply eject your SD card now and insert into the Wii and we'll go from there okay now it's time to actually insert the SD card into the menu or into the Wii now and we're gonna install the homebrew channel simply turn on your Wii Insert the SD card. Go to the Wii menu, system options. Go to data management, go to channels. Click SD card, and this will pop up. Now what you have to do here is simple. You obviously click yes. And now it's going to load. This is just telling you that you should not have bought the software at all. This is completely free. It never will be charged. And if you were charged, you better get your money back, basically. Now press 1 to continue. And here we are. We're at this menu now. 
Now, what you want to make sure is that let me get this close. You want to make sure that these files are able to install. What it says here is the Homebrew channel can be installed, DVDX can be installed, and BootMe can be installed. Let's continue right here. First, you want to do is install the Homebrew channel. Click A. Click Yes to continue. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. It'll take a simple five seconds, maybe, and it'll be installed. And go ahead and install DVDX. What What's the problem with you? You know, there's nothing wrong with that. That allows you to watch DVDs directly on your Wii using this hack. And you also, what I like to do is I showed you at the beginning of the video how my Wii booted up, and that's the boot me. So I would install boot me as a boot tool or an I or iOS, whatever you want to choose. You know, it doesn't matter. After that, click exit, and you're done. Your homeboot channel now will pop up, and it should be empty. Your we it'll pop up empty, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go add some new apps so you can. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to get those files off your SD card so they don't clutter it up. All right, um, you will need to delete the boot.l file because anytime you want to access your SD card now from the actual Wii menu, it will freeze your Wii. So we're gonna simply delete that. And we're going to also delete the private folder that you use to um, download or install the hack. We're going to delete both of those and press OK. And we're good. Now we're going to change the old private, the private old file, back to the original private. So now you have all your physical files back from before you did this hack. Now I also want you to create a new folder, name it apps, which I already currently have. So we're just going to delete that. I currently have here. And now what I want to show you is how to install this homebrew browser channel. Um, this will allow you to download all of these directly from your Wii onto your SD card. So you don't have to use the computer anymore. Let me quickly show you how to do that. We'll make a new window. We're going to go to a website called webrew.org. And this website is filled with information and how to's on hacking the Wii. And we're going to go to applications and we're going to go and see all these different programs you can have onto the homebrew channel. Simple programs, tons of them, tons of them. But what I recommend first, before you even want to do any of these, if anything, I recommend clicking the homebrew browser. You know, I'll take a look at it, you know, shows you how to do the control functions and whatever and what we're gonna do here is gonna click on the links here click download once the download is popped up and has finished we will then it will be in our downloads folder is here now I have previous ones we're gonna open it up and we're gonna simply open our SD card up as well and we're gonna drag the homebrew browser right onto the apps folder. Nope, that's not right. I'm going to drag it directly onto the apps folder. And what, mine already has it, so I'd have to replace it, but that's what you do. You let it work, and that's it. From then, I, you, all you have to do is launch that directly from the homebrew channel, and you'll be able to download apps, like tons of these apps, all these apps, which I showed you at the beginning of the video. And that's it.